Until you spread your wings, you have no idea how far you can fly. An A-level in art and design will equip you with the necessary skills to pursue a career in one of the fastest growing industries. A-level art and design builds on the knowledge and skills developed at GCSE. Ideally, candidates should have a B grade or above at GCSE to successfully pursue this A-level. There are four units in A-level art and design. The experimental portfolio, personal response, personal and critical investigation, and thematic outcome. The first unit that students undertake at AS level art and design is the experimental portfolio. Students base their portfolio on a theme of the stimulus paper at the beginning of the AS course. Students will explore context and concepts, techniques, skills and media. They'll visit museums or galleries or make field trips and attend workshops. Students then begin to develop ideas related to the theme as their practical and contextual investigations progress. This unit is designed to give students space to be creative and learn through visual inquiry without the burden of a specified outcome. In the second unit, students work on a personal response. In this unit, students respond to a theme issued in a stimulus paper at the beginning of the AS course. It includes developing work into an outcome that stems from the research and exploratory work completed for Unit 1. Students will develop a personal solution or design brief in response to the theme provided in the stimulus paper. They produce a statement of intent to mark the beginning of this AS2. The outcome may be started at any time during this period, but it is brought to a conclusion during a 10-hour controlled test. The A2 unit begins with a personal and critical investigation. This unit includes both practical and written investigations, including contextual research. Students demonstrate understanding through integrating practical and written work. Students are not required to produce a completed outcome. They work on the theme issued for the A2 course, for example, location. Building on the skills and interests developed at AS level, students develop a personal investigation based on an idea, issue, subject or concept inspired by the theme. The final unit for A2 Art and Design is a thematic outcome. Students respond to a theme issued in a stimulus paper at the beginning of the A2 course. This unit includes developing work into an outcome that stems from the personal investigation completed for Unit 1. Students develop a personal solution independently or create a design brief. Students complete a final outcome. It can be started at any time from the beginning of February in the year that they are to be examined and is completed during a 15-hour controlled test. Studying art and design will give you an excellent foundation for whatever you want to do after school. The skills you'll gain such as creativity, analysis and problem solving complement a range of other subjects and careers. The opportunities are extensive for people with creative minds. The creative industries provide over 2 million jobs in the UK and it's one of the fastest growing areas of employment. 
Did you know that more people work in the creative industries than the finance industry? The creative industries generate 84 billion to the UK's economy each year and employ over 2.8 million people. Unlike many industries, the creative industries have continued to grow despite the recent financial crisis. For a more in-depth breakdown of the A-level in art and design, you can visit the exam website ccea.org.uk.